Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put on polo wraps and bell boots. So um, when I was first learning how to put polo wraps on, I had no idea how to do it. And I keep my horses at my house, so I don't really have any other horse people to ask how to do it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to wrap them and wrap them back up when you're done. In case you are a beginner or you haven't done this before, it's really not that complicated. Just take some practice. So let's get started. All right, peeps. So first, make sure your horse's foot's pretty clean. It doesn't have to be sparkling, but make sure it's pretty clean. So first thing you're gonna do, let me go this side. You're gonna start in the middle of the shin. So about right here, or the cannon bone. Some people start at the top, but I like to start here. Um, and you wanna make sure that your, your polo rolls out instead of going in this way. So I start in the middle and I'm just gonna lightly roll against her shin like this. And you can go up first or down. I'm probably gonna go down. But one important thing to remember when you're doing a pull wrap is when you pull tight, pull tight against the shin, only the shin. I'll pull tight again here, or the, the bony part of the leg. You don't wanna pull tight back here and pull it tight into this tendon because the horse has a, a big tendon that runs through the back of their leg here. And if you pull that in, you're gonna bow this tendon, which can cause a lot of problems later. So you wanna pull it tight against the hard bony part of their leg and then loosen it back here. Pull it tight again. And when you get down to their ankle, you can go around their ankle and come back up like this. And you notice all my spacings are pretty close, about an inch apart. Then you go back up, pull only against the bony part of the leg. Just like that. Once you get about to the knee, you can go back down. And you should, whoops, you should end about where you started. So right in the middle. And then you pull your strap tight. And that's how I do polar wraps. That's how I was taught how to do them. Um, it's worked for me and my horses. So um, yeah, that's basically just how you put it on. Let me show you a closer view. So you can see this is what it looks like down here at the pastern. Um, yeah, it's just how they're all wrapped up. Not a perfect job, of course, because I am not an English writer. But um, yeah, that's basically how you put the wrap on. I'll show you how to put on the bell boots. The bell boots, um, these are just an old junkie pair of mine. When I was younger, I always thought like the straps were supposed to go in the back just because I thought that's how it would look nicer. But the straps actually go in the front. So these are just an old basic pair that you just wrap around your horse's ankle like this and tighten the straps like so. And then just protects your horse's ankles and make sure they don't clip themselves. So that's basically how you put on the foot gear. Now when you take these off, just throw that aside. When I take these off, I always take it off like this and then I just ball it up like so just to keep it out of the way so it's not all over the place. Ball it up like this and then I'll show you how to wrap it back up. All right, so now that you got your ball of fleece here, I'm gonna show you how to wrap it back up because you don't want your wrap to be facing the wrong direction when you go to put it on your horse and then realize that the Velcro is on the wrong side because that's really irritating. So, I always take my Velcro, see this little strap here. I'm just gonna stick it to itself, wrap it like that, and then just start wrapping downwards. So you get it all nice and rolled up all the way to the end. Just like these. And once you get to the end, I always take the corner right here and then just tuck it in like that. And it just keeps it from unraveling on you. All right, guys. So that was a super simple video. And I'm sure a lot of you already know how to do that. But for people like me who are kind of starting to go into the English world, but not really into it yet, um, it's just a really simple thing to learn. And um, sometimes people don't like to ask for help. So I'm one of those people. I'm very shy and I don't like to ask other people. But yeah, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay. How much more do you want me to record? That's probably good.